new initiative has been launched recently to tackle obstetric fistula in Africa. Fistula is often caused by prolonged labor and sexual assault. Women who suffer from the condition cannot control their bladder or bowels. Experts say obstetric fistula is one of the most devastating and serious of all childbirth injuries. The new initiative called Action on Fistula aims to provide help to more than 1,200 women in Kenya. The initiative is led by U.S.-based Fistula Foundation and funded by APEL, Astella's Pharma Europe LTD. Now joining us via Skype from New York City for more on the subject is Kate Grant, Chief Executive Officer of the Fistula Foundation. Ms. Grant, welcome to the program. Thanks, Lenore. It's great to be with you again. Thank you for joining us. Uh, first of all, what is unique about this new initiative? Well, a couple things are unique about it. One is it's a partnership between a nonprofit charity, the Fistula Foundation, and a private company, Astellas Pharma Europe. And uh, while we've had generous support from other organizations, uh, other corporations, the size and scale of this gift makes it um, profound. Um, Two million dollars uh, over three years in one country, Kenya, is just a great volume of resources. So that's one thing that makes it unique. The other thing about it is that because the size is great and we're in one country, we're going to be able to work in a much more strategic and determined way in a given country across a, a number of years to really make an impact. So it's both the size and scale of this partnership and the fact that it's not just um, a nonprofit engaging in it, but a large multi-billion dollar pharmaceutical company that's helping us um, fund this program. So the program will, is, uh, will, will be focused in Kenya, uh, obviously, on more than 1,200 women. How is it going to be implemented concretely on the ground? Well, there's a, there's a couple of pieces of this. Um, obviously, at the end of the day, what we want to do is get more women that have this horrible childbirth injury treated. We know globally from recently published um, uh, data out of the London School of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene that about one million women globally have untreated fistula. Again, as you mentioned in your intro, it's the childbirth injury that leaves women incontinent. That's the bad news, the very bad news. The good news is that most of the time, the injury can be um, healed and corrected at the hands literally of a trained surgeon. So we're going to be focusing this effort on getting, again, at least 1,200 women um, treated who have this injury. But at the same time, we're trying to build the human infrastructure so that beyond the three years we're going to be funding surgery, there's capacity in Kenya to get more women treated beyond just this next three years. So okay. the second piece of this effort is um, training surgeons and networking the sites to get others so that there's really an infrastructure in place to help um, get more women treated in Kenya. Quickly, we talk about treating it, but fundamentally, how can we prevent it? And I think we lost uh, Ms. Grant, and she's back. Uh, can you tell us in uh, 10 seconds? No, I think we lost her. Well, and uh, that was... Um, I think we still have her. Okay, go ahead, yes. Uh, the, the short answer would be emergency obstetric um, care, specifically a C-section, because what causes a fistula is obstructed labor, obstructed meaning the baby's not descending, okay. um, and will be in labor for days. So what prevents it is access to emergency obstetric care when it's needed, when a labor is not progressing. And usually in, in developed countries, that means access to a C-section. Okay, Ms. Grant, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for your time. And Thank that you. was uh, Kate Grant with the Fistula Foundation. That's our Africa Health Report for today. Back to you, Vincent. Thank you. She, has to, she had to get that last word in. Well, thanks a lot, uh, Lenore, for joining us today. Be sure to watch for Lino Amadou. That's every Tuesday and Thursday for the latest health news in Africa, right here on Africa 54.